Get as aligned and symmetrical as possible. You can practice with your eyes open with a soft gaze, or you can close your eyes. If you feel depressed or tired, then maybe today you practice with a soft gaze. And say to yourself mentally, I am practicing yoga nidra. And say to yourself mentally, I will stay awake for yoga nidra. And take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, think moon. And take another deep breath in. And on the exhale, think waxing gibbous moon. And start to connect to the body. Notice the weight of the body and all the points of contact between the body and the floor or whatever you're lying down on. And let the entire body be supported. And feel the head supported, the shoulders supported, the back supported, the arms supported, the hands supported, the buttocks supported, the legs supported, the heels supported. Feel the whole body supported allowing you to relax more deeply. And begin to connect to the breath. And on the inhale, feel the belly, feel the abdomen expand. And on the exhale, feel the abdomen deflate. Inhale, the abdomen expands, and exhale, the abdomen deflates. And start to notice this and watch it on your own for a few breaths. compassion for myself and on the exhale think compassion for others inhale thinking compassion for self and exhale thinking compassion for others And perhaps the statement even gets shortened to inhale thinking self, exhale thinking others. And do this for several breaths.
Let go of these words and listen in all directions for sounds. Listen for sounds outside the room. And listen for sounds inside the room. Hear the sound of my voice. And then listen for any sounds of the body, any gurgling, which is often a sound of relaxation. And listen for sounds inside the room. And listen for any sounds of the body. Any gurgling, which is often a sound of relaxation. And then listen for the sound of the breath. And listen for the sound of the heartbeat. And in the heartbeat, hear the heart's desire. In Yoga Nidra, we call that the sankopa. A sankopa is a short, positive statement in the present or future tense. It's an affirmation or a resolve. If you don't have a specific sankopa that you're working with, then for tonight, try this statement. The statement, the affirmation of the waxing gibbous moon. I embrace my gifts and talents. Either using your statement or mine, I embrace my gifts and talents. Repeat it three times mentally with full awareness and the confidence that it will come true. Moving on to the rotation of consciousness through the body, the body scan, a body part will be named and either repeat the name of the body part, visualize the body part, or imagine the body is being touched by a star. I will cue the stars, but know that it's also possible just to repeat the name of the body part or bring awareness to the body part. Imagine a dark night sky, a night sky with no lights, and the body is suspended in the sky like a constellation that has not yet been illumined. Connect to this constellation floating in the sky, the constellation that is you, and place a star on the right hand thumb, index finger, middle finger, 
ring finger, pinky finger. See a star twinkling in the palm of the hand and another star on the back of the hand. Stars at the wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, and see a star twinkling on the side of the right rib cage, right waist, right hip, and stars on the upper leg, kneecap, lower leg, ankle, heel, instep, sole of the foot, top of the foot, and twinkling stars across the right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and fifth toe. And now see the whole right side of the body twinkling and filled with stars. And bring the stars to the left side of the body, beginning with the left hand thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger. Place a star in the palm of the hand. See stars twinkling on the back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, twinkling stars on the side of the left rib cage, left waist, left hip, And now place stars on the upper leg, kneecap, lower leg, ankle, heel, instep, sole of the foot, top of the foot, and twinkling stars across the left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and fifth toe. And now the whole left side of the body is twinkling and filled with stars. Bring a new moon, the dark disk of the moon, to the top of the head. Place a crescent moon at the eyebrow center. A half moon at the throat. A waxing gibbous moon, tonight's moon, at the heart center. 
see a full moon at the navel. Last quarter moons at the hips. Waning crescent moons on both knees and a dark moon on both feet. And now connect to the whole body. See the whole body floating in the sky like a constellation filled with moons and stars. See the whole body floating like a constellation filled with moons and stars. And now release the moons and stars to the heavens. Release them, let them go, knowing that they're there to watch over you, there for you, looking out for you and bring awareness back to the breath. Bring the awareness back to the natural breath. And notice on the inhale, the belly rises and expands. And on the exhale, the belly falls and deflates. And when the belly expands, think waxing growing, waxing. And when the belly falls, think waning. And begin this practice of on the inhale, thinking waxing. And on the exhale, thinking waning. And work with this practice of waxing and waning with the breath. The words waxing and waning have become lost. Come back to the words waxing and waning. And if the awareness of the breath has become lost, then become aware once again of the breath synchronized with the words waxing and waning. And stay with the practice of mentally saying waxing and waning along with the breath. And then let go of the practice of waxing and waning and come back to natural breathing. And start to go inside the body. Mentally investigate the interior of the body and look for darkness in the body. Look for darkness in the nostrils or in the belly. Look for darkness in the body. Find places which feel dark in the body.
And once darkness is found, spread that darkness across the entire body. Feel the body as darkness. Let the body be dark. Know the body as darkness. The body is dark. And now let go of darkness and come to the opposite experience of lightness. Notice outside the body, anywhere that light is touching it. Or connect to a remembered lightness or light. And spread the lightness across the entire body. Let the body be filled, touched, embraced with light. Know the body as lightness. The body is light. And now let go of the experience of lightness and come back to that opposite experience of darkness. Feel the darkness, the unknown inside the body. And then let go of the darkness and come back to the light and feel the light on the body and know the outside, the known, as light, as lightness. And then let go of the light and come back to the dark and add in light. Attempt to be both dark and light at the exact same time. Perhaps the front of the body is light and the back of the body is dark. Perhaps the interior of the body is dark and the exterior of the body is light. Attempt to be both light and dark simultaneously. And now let go of lightness and light and let go of darkness and dark and come back to natural breathing. And now connect to a time when you persevered. Connect to a time when you had stamina. Remember that experience as if it were happening right now. Remember an experience of perseverance of stamina. See it clearly as if you are watching a movie in which you were the star. You were the star of the movie who was persevering, who had stamina. And experience this perseverance, this stamina across the entire body. Know the whole body as perseverance. Experience the entire body as stamina. The body is perseverance. The body is stamina. And then let go of the perseverance and let go of the stamina and come to the opposite experience. Come to the opposite experience of giving up and fatigue. Remember a time when you gave up. Remember a time when you were very tired, fatigued, didn't want to go on anymore. Connect to one experience of giving up, of being fatigued, whichever is chosen and see it clearly as if it were happening right now. See the body giving up. 
See the body fatigued. And spread that giving up, spread that fatigue across the entire body. Let the body give up. Let the body be fatigued. Know the body as fatigue. Know the body as giving up. And then let go of that fatigue. Let go of that giving up. And come back to the stamina, the perseverance. And then let go of the stamina, the perseverance, and come back to the fatigue, the giving up. And then let go of the giving up, the fatigue, and come back to stamina and perseverance and add in the fatigue and giving up. Perhaps the bottom of the body, the legs, are persevering. And the top of the body the torso and the arms and head are giving up. Perhaps the front of the body is persevering and the back of the body is giving up. Although it's difficult to do, attempt to persevere and give up at the exact same time. Attempt to persevere and give up simultaneously. Attempt to have stamina, perseverance, fatigue, and give up all at the same time. And then let go of the perseverance, the stamina, the fatigue, the giving up and come back to natural breathing. And bring awareness to the Chittakash, the mind space in front of the closed eyes. Bring awareness to the Chittakash, the mind movie. Bring awareness to the Chittakash, the mind space in front of the closed eyes. And in this space, see the simple images that will be suggested. A tall tree. A tall tree. A sunrise. A sunrise. A leisurely walk. A leisurely walk. A meadow full of wildflowers. A meadow full of wildflowers. A role model. A role model. A runner finishing a marathon. A runner finishing a marathon. A friend's smile. A friend's smile. A hearty laugh. A hearty laugh. A rainbow. A rainbow. And then bring the awareness back to the Chittakash, the mind space in front of the closed eyes, and see yourself out in nature. See yourself out in nature under a dark night sky. And experience the darkness. Absorb the primordial energy of the darkness. 
and connect to all the emotions and feelings that arise in you as you find yourself in the emptiness of night. And feel compassion for yourself in this uncertain time. And notice the stars filling the heavens and watch them shining and twinkling. And now smell snow in the air and notice that you're at the base of a mountain. Notice yourself at a base of a mountain that you want to climb. And you have all the equipment. You have taken much time and care to make all the preparations to climb this mountain. And you begin to walk. And the path is very long. And the snow is crunching under your shoes. And you're slightly cold. And you notice that you've gone off course, that you've lost your markers. And you're slightly anxious. But you take a deep breath. You readjust focus, take a look at your compass and your map, and you get back on the path. And as you look up, the sky is changing from black to dark purple. And now the dark purple has become indigo, and you continue to walk and the mountain has become steeper, but you're not tired because you took much time to prepare. You've been training and you adjust your equipment to make it more comfortable. And you look mentally to the east and you feel yourself gaining momentum. You're almost at the top now Connect to your potential for greatness. You're almost there. And you become aware of a band of rosy pinks and sandy yellows at the horizon. You see the sky transforming from yellow to orange. And now you experience an explosion of colors that mark the dawn. And as you look, you absorb the radiance of the reds, oranges, and yellows. And you take some deep breaths here in dawn's early light. You're at the summit. You reach the goal. You've made it. And the sun rises with you standing at the top of the mountain. And then bring awareness back to the Chittakash, the mind space in front of the closed eyes, and let go of the visualization practice. Let it go. Let the mountain disappear and the sun fade away. And once again, notice the breath. And in the gentle breath, hear the whisper of the sankopa, the affirmation that was made in the beginning of the yoga nidra practice, or the statement I gave, I embrace my gifts and talents. Repeat it three times mentally with full awareness and the confidence that it will come true. Feel the heart beating. 
notice the breath moving in and out of the nose or mouth. Notice any gurgling in the body, the signs of digestion and relaxation. Listen for any sounds in the body, any other sounds. And listen for sounds in the room, including my voice. Listen for sounds in the room where you're set up, where you're settled. And listen for sounds outside the room. Can you hear anything outside the room? And listen for the furthest sound that you can hear outside the room. And remember the room. Remember the walls, what they're made of, what color they are. Remember the floor, what's the texture of the floor, what's it made of. Remember the ceiling. Even remember what you're wearing. And then come back to the breath. Make each inhale deeper and deeper. And make each exhale fuller and fuller. And say to yourself mentally, the practice of Yoga Nidra for the waxing gibbous moon is now complete. Keep the eyes closed, but begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes. And roll the wrists and ankles one way, like little lunar orbits around the earth. And then switch directions, roll them the opposite direction. And take some movement. And when you're ready and there's no need to rush or hurry, roll over onto your left side, your lunar side, in a fetal position, the position of rebirth and renewal. I'll just reread the characteristics of the waxing gibbous moon. Revision, focus, adjustments, stamina, openness, potential, momentum, impatience, care, compassion, contribution, and perseverance. And then if you wish, push yourself up to a comfortable seated position with your hands at the heart center. Honoring yourself and honoring the practice of Yoga Nidra. 
and getting in touch with the moon. And perhaps you bow in to acknowledge the time you took for self-care and to meditate, to relax. The moonlight in me bows down to, acknowledges and admires the moonlight in each and every one of you. Hari Om Tat Sat. Namaste.